Welcome to the how-to video. Here's a model of the flashlight that you'll be building along with some of the materials that you'll be using to get the job done. Ever seen one of these before? It's called an LED and this is where the light will be emitting from on our flashlight. Remember in the last video we said that everything in electricity has a positive and a negative side. This will be important to remember and the shorter diode on the LED is actually the negative and the longer one is the positive. Anyways, the first step in all of this is to connect that LED to the end of our flashlight. It's not exactly a perfect fit, so what we're doing here is bending the ends of those wires so it makes it a little bit more snug on that wooden piece. Make sure you remember though which side that shorter wire went on because that's going to be the top of our flashlight. And here is about what it should look like before we move on to the next step. For that next step, we want to get out this copper tape which electrical current runs through just like copper wire. And on the side with the longer, I repeat, longer wire coming out of the LED, tape it from the very top down to the very bottom. We're going to consider this the bottom half of the flashlight. And about an inch from the bottom of the wood piece, take that extra copper tape and make a little pile of it. Here's about what things should be looking like at this step. Next up, we want you to pull out that binder clip and attach it to the opposite end of the LED. Go ahead and drop the metal hammer on the bottom side and part of that hook should land on that pile of copper tape we just made. Then flip the flashlight over and drop the other metal hammer and then pull out a pencil or pen and make a little circle right in the middle of that loop on the end. Here's a close up of what we're looking for. Then it's time for the copper tape again. Start up at the metal wire coming out of the LED on this end and then slowly go down until you reach that circle that you just made. Once you do reach that dot you just made, use the extra copper tape in hand to make another one of those piles as close to that location as possible. Now it's time to reach for that battery that's been off to the side, and we're going to put it on that pile of copper tape we just made. But remember, we have to place it down the right way. The negative side comes in contact with the copper tape, and the positive side faces upward. Just like all of the other connections in this circuit, such as the wires coming out of the LED, we want to make sure that there's a lot of good contact between the tape and the bottom of this battery. And believe it or not, now we're actually in pretty good shape. This circuit and flashlight will work, but just to make sure that the battery is held in place well, let's tape it on in. When you are taping though, try to stay towards the top of that battery so when the hammer from the binder clip comes down, it doesn't go on top of the tape. That's actually going to give the electrons a different path to flow through and they won't flow through our circuit, so it won't work. So when you think you got it, check all the connections and test it out and you should have a working device. But be sure to tune into one more video so we can ask you some fun challenging questions and also show you some other cool things to do with your device.